Hey guys, this is Dane from Backcountry Access. Gonna walk you through how to install, say, a hydration reservoir or your BC Link radio into our new Float 2.0 packs. The setup is gonna be very similar to the 1.0 system. We're just gonna be routing up through the shoulder sleeve. First move is going to be get into the airbag compartment because so you're gonna have to route whether it's a hydration hose or your BC Link radio through this area. This is where it gets a little confusing, but once you open up the pack, it's a good idea to also open up the main compartment. You have nice room to work with. Um, use the rip zipper to get into the airbag compartment. And it's going to be a lot easier to work around uh, once the airbag is out, so that's how I'm going to demonstrate it. But with the connections from the uh, shoulder straps coming through on the outside here. If you don't feel like messing with the airbag, you can do that. But just uh, to kind of show uh, a little bit more clearly, we're gonna pull the airbag out. So pull that out. And just to kind of give yourself a little bit more space to work with, I like to fold it over. Demonstrate this with our Hamo BC Link radio. Unhook the mic from the base unit. Put the base unit on the side for now. Uh, we're gonna, you're gonna need a kind of a nice small part to be able to kind of push it up through your shoulder connection and get it into the airbag and then into the main compartment. Whichever side you don't have your trigger on. Right here is my trigger, so I'm going to open up this side here. And if you stand the pack up, you should be able to kind of feel with your finger, okay, where is that uh, opening from the shoulder sleeve into the airbag compartment. So I'm able to find that with my finger. Okay, got a good idea as to where that is, which is just at the top here. It's going to be opposite of where your triggers coming out from. So if you can't seem to find it, just look at where that trigger is coming from and then you can just uh, find the other side there. Just gonna guide this part of the cord up into the main compartment. Pull as much slack through as I can for now. We can always adjust where the mic sits a little bit later. You can either route the cable to the right or the left side. However, I would uh, recommend routing it to the opposite side of where your trigger um, is coming through. That way it, there's a little bit less cable needed in order to get it down to the main compartment. But both sides of the airbag compartment have openings that go into the main compartment. So. Main thing here is just to make sure you're not putting the mic cord over the airbag. So I'll kind of fold it back over so that I can now get it into the main compartment easily. But a good idea just to fold that piece over, make sure that nothing's in the way there. And now I just route it down through the corner. Fold this piece back. Pull a little bit just to get some slack there just so that we have a little bit to work with uh, once we do connect the mic. And now you can see here that we do have a webbing loop for your radio. So we'll get the radio connected. And then your radio can sit in that webbing loop. Before we repack the airbag, it's a good idea to make sure our mic has a little bit of cord to work with here. I'll just connect my mic clip to the webbing. And what's nice about these packs is that they're designed to be large enough to then zip up your radio so whenever it's not in use, you can get it out of the elements. And now we just have to repack the bag. So I'm just gonna follow the folding instructions. Let me check this trigger away. The 
last little bit of air out of there. Like that, everything's right where it needs to be. You got the zipper to our airbag compartment closed. Got the BC link in there. Got the pack. Ready to rock. Thanks for watching.